Red, why red? <laughs> no, no. I've always liked Your Red, friend. Georgia. <laughs> Favorite album is probably Loveless by My Bloody Valentine. Oh. And my favorite food is chocolate. <laughs> So? Those weren't the questions, okay. Can you tell us something about <laughs> this project? This is Alexander Vanex. Um, it's, it's very strange being here, in a way, because this band uh, was formed in this yeah, yeah. building. Yeah, yeah, I know it's Marta. Yeah, yeah. So we, we had all met before, and I'd worked with David on this project with the London Symphony yes, yes. And then yes. David knew Sarah. But the night that we all played here, we decided that we wanted to... We found the idea of the Sinfonietta project inspiring, but really the Sinfonietta project was taking existing pieces, making a score. It was a bit different with my piece, but with the other pieces. And we thought, well, we want to write some music that we can all play, because Sarah was playing John Cage, I was playing my piece, and we were sitting backstage, upstairs in the dressing rooms, and that's where we, we thought, okay, we're we going to do this. And, and um, then we got a commission to write a piece, that, that piece that you heard, the last piece, for the Ravello Festival in Italy. And that's how the band started, basically. And it was just an idea that we all really, you know, we have very different backgrounds. You know, they are classically trained musicians. I am, of course, not. And but we had a connection, and you know, it's been very easy to work together, and we've really enjoyed it. So. Oh, really? Yeah, really, really easy. Well, so you it have changed be. totally uh, the kind of music you play. No. no. from what I do by myself, yeah. but yeah, it's pretty different, but it's, um, but also it's not so different, you know, I think there's a lot in common, and well, I think a lot of the structure and composition of the pieces um, are very much, uh, very similar to the way I work normally, and, um, but the sound obviously is uh, very much based on the piano. Yeah, with just me. So that's the immediate. 
kids feature there's a new Mira Kalix album so I will continue to do my work just me but also to continue with this project and I'm also working on other projects that maybe have more but do you think there is some kind of possibilities between the projects? Yeah, definitely. and I think which one? I think because for me I really uh, enjoy writing for myself by myself but I enjoy the contrast of being with other people and also if I'm with other people with Sarah and David and we work we work like maybe for one week then we don't work for three months then we work for one week because we all have other projects so this is not our only thing so this is how we work but then I'm also working I'm writing music for like a theatre production, so I'm writing music for other projects where you have to think a lot about how the music uh, is used to tell a story like for a film. You know, it has to have a purpose to tell someone else's story. And that's the opposite of when I make music for Mira Calix because uh, it's just So, but this contrast between making music with other people, other projects, it's really good, it's very special. But then I like to come and just be this by myself. This is your first project, uh, not by yourself? This is my first group here, yeah, not by myself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you are the, the only woman in the work right? Yeah. Why? I don't what know. Do you about? I don't know why. There was also um, uh, Trish, who sings the song in Broadcast. You know the band Broadcast? Broadcast. Broadcast. Yeah, there is a girl. Broadcast. Yeah. 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 The singer. Yeah. The singer. Yeah. So there's one more. But that's yeah, it. Yeah, but you are. You are the woman. You are the woman. I'm the woman. Thank you. So we need. So I don't know why. We need. Okay, for me. Perfect. Grazie. <laughs> From your point of view, <laughs> yes. crickets. Crickets, ah. ah. <laughs> yeah. Musicians and musical instruments. Ah, <laughs> that's, a very, that's actually the, you're the first person to ask me that question. Ah, I love your the new new. Yeah. I think that they are really musicians. But obviously, <laughs> they know they are playing in the They get food, they get water, <laughs> they don't get any money, so no? they're not doing the so well. The perfect musicians. Yeah, the perfect musicians. <laughs> they're, they're, yeah, they're cheap, they don't complain. <laughs> they're great musicians. They're great musicians, always on time. Yeah. Always on time. They don't get tired. They're yeah. always, yeah, but also they keep the beat absolutely yeah. perfect. Yeah. It's very yeah. funny. Journalist was complaining about the cricket saying that they sounded too perfect, it must be on a computer. And I was thinking, no, no, that's the point. The crickets are perfect. <laughs> it's like, it's not a computer. So they know they are in the, in the coast. Yeah, yeah. And they seem to really, you know, they, because normally we take the, the blanket off, you know, because they stay in the dark. And then they all. But occasionally they eat each other, which is a bit mm. of a problem. And what sound do they do? I've never really yeah. listened to this <laughs> one. Maybe it's yeah. Yeah. You should. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because there's too many of the other ones to really hear one thing. But it has happened. It only happened once that there was two species of crickets, and uh, we didn't do that again. They weren't supposed to eat each other, but they did. Yeah. yeah. I was just getting annoyed by the by the other one. So it was a small, the very first concert there was, there was cannibalism yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on stage, but since then it's been okay. But it's been really good fun yeah. doing that, yeah. Pretty crazy sometimes, but fun. Okay. To the crickets? Yeah. No, each one. We'll normally have about 300, that's what I need to make it work.